Hello friends, I am Neeraj. So we have successfully completed our first assignment and we developed our invoice generation software. And uh, now it's time to make our application uh, distribution ready so that we can distribute our application. And uh, in order to make our application distribution ready, so all we have to do is we have to build our application into a binary executable so that we can distribute our binary file and uh, people will install it and they will start using our application. So let's do that. And in order to do so, so we will use the Go Build tool and that is already provided with the Go software. And uh, the, the syntax and command is very, very simple. So this is only one single line of a statement, single command. So we will use Go Build and hit enter. So it will create a executable file and we you might you, you might be seeing that uh, it has created a billing dash invoice file and this is uh, basically a binary executable and we can test it also so right now it basically i am using a ubuntu operating system so on, on any linux distribution so the in order to execute a executable file so the syntax is that dot and slash and the name of the file so it is running fine and uh, we can add few products so price is 2 quantity 3 so hit q to exit so invoice got generated successfully and uh, we got the message and uh, if we click if we look at the file content our invoice content so here also so the date and time is uh, correct so today's date and time so our application is very very distribution ready so all we have to do is so we can simply very say very easily so we can uh, distribute this uh, this file billing dash invoice and uh, people will simply install it and uh, people will start using it so however so you might have noticed that the name of the file is billing dash invoice so basically this name is coming from the our go.mod file so by by default so uh, when we run a go build tool so basically it uh, it creates the executable file as per the our module name so our module name was billing dash invoice so that is why the executable file the file's name is also the billing dash invoice however we can override it let's say we want to uh, create uh, our executable file uh, i mean uh, we will again use the uh, go build tool only so but we will use the iPhone O switch and uh, this switch what it does is that it will generate the output file so we can uh, we can uh, we can pass on a parameter of the our output file so let's say we want to generate the output file inside the build directory and the name should be billing and right now if we run uh, this command so it has created a build directory and a billing and a billing executable file so we can also run it here very li like before so we will cd into build and uh, i will run this so this is running fine so i'll add few products add more so test 2 price is let's see 1.2 quantity is 3 i'll press q to exit so it has uh, so it has generated our invoice so i got a message and if we look at the directory structure so here inside the build directory so uh, here i am getting so it has generated a invoice.txt file and if we look at the file content so again so yes so uh, two products are there and basically so wherever uh, uh, where uh, inside that directory wherever this billing dot uh, billing executable file is there so it will generate the invoice inside that directory because we have written our application the source code uh, like that and uh, go is uh, go also is capable enough to uh, do cross compiling so by cross compiling means like for example right now i am using linux operating system but i can uh, i can uh, i can i can build the executable file that can run on windows so on windows the executable file ends with the .exe extension so we can also do that so let's do that 
so but in order to do so basically we have to provide a few other options so first one is so we need to provide the target os and that is let's say windows and uh, we can also provide the architecture also so go arc equal to let's say amd 64 that is a 64 bit architecture and then we will say very simply go build dash o and inside the build directory so billing dot exe simple so let's press enter so okay so i was in the build directory so so if we run our this command again so one dot billing dot exe file should have been generated and it, it it and it has been generated so this way so we can uh, we can compile our application and we can make the distribution ready file for the mac for a ubuntu operating system for a windows right from right from inside the like like i did from the from a ubuntu machine okay so this way so i will provide the command for this uh, for all this like uh, whatever command i have used uh in order to build the application so don't worry so that's all for this session and uh, i hope you enjoyed the session and if you uh, and uh, if you have anything to say so please do let me know and uh, so i'll see you in, in some other session so till then take care and happy coding